Hey YouTube, it's Ben and Colton here, golfing the Okanagan Golf Club in Kelowna, British Columbia. So there's actually two tracks at this course, the bear and the quail. But don't let the names fool you. The quail is the more difficult of the two, so you better be keeping the ball straight. Let's play some golf. So today we're playing blacks here at the quail. Hole one is 315 yards from the blacks. So the first hole is a bit of a dog leg left to get down to the green. And you're about 160 yards to hit to the trees on the left and 220 yards to hit it through the fairway. So a um, bit of a smart golf hole to start. Are you kidding me? Dude! Colton made an amazing par from the bunker, drained a 20 yard bunker shot, which is just nuts. Hole two, it's a 512 yard par five. Pretty narrow at the start. There's trees on either side, which look a little intimidating right now. And a bunker on the left side that we gotta avoid. Looks to be a fun one. <laughs> Hole three, it's a 310 yard par four from the blacks. It's about 220 yards to hit it right through those uh, two trees on the fairway there. Yeah, big dog leg left. Yeah, this whole three green is, it looks pretty flat, but it's really sloped down towards the valley. So it's super quick. Okay, well that's quick. That's a fast green. The sun's out, spirits are high, going into hole four here. Got a little side bed on the go here today, so Colton's one up on me. Well, there's a Bubba Gump vibe. A Bubba Gump visor. visor. <laughs> that I was gonna be wearing today. It's actually a nice visor, but we agreed to make a little competition out of it. So it's a three point competition. I get one point for beating Ben on a hole, just straight through and then one point for getting closer to the tee on a par three than Ben. So, so if I get three points, Ben wears the Bubba Gump visor in the next game, and if I don't get three points, I wear it in the next game, which I'm not mad about. It's a great visor. Again, I was gonna wear it. So, <laughs> so it's pretty much lose-lose for me, but Colton, Colton's <laughs> up one point here because I of that. I would like to see Ben in it. That hole out on hole one. What are you thinking here, Big C? I'm in okay shape. I can still beat you. I can still beat you on oh, this yeah, hole. Yeah, you think so, do you? Keep hitting drives like that, I'm gonna start calling you Bryson DeChambeau. Nice shot, dude. So, hole six, a really unique long par five. What'd you think? Yeah, it's an interesting shape, that hole. A bit of an, like an S. Definitely not doable to really hit it in two unless you hit a rocking drive. Hole nine looks to be a 396 yard par four from the blacks. Little bit of a dog leg right. And uh, yeah, troublesome territory with the bunkers and trees. Haven't seen water yet on this course, but still lots of trouble. Oh, <laughs> almost came right back at you there. Headed on to hole 10 here. So this is one of those holes, it's just straight uphill, which kind of throws me off at the start. Um, one thing about this course though, is it's, it's super walkable. You know, you definitely don't need a cart here if you want to, uh, if you're someone that enjoys getting out for a nice, uh, some nice morning exercise for 18. A nice Sunday stroll, one might say. Are you kidding me? Wow. Hey, that's the game of golf. <laughs> Hole 11, 115 yard par three. Big tee off box, so we're 115 from the front, so you probably can get back to about 135. Good shot, can get you a birdie here. And you can hear all the birdies chirping too, so it's motivation, you know?
Simmer down. It's too strong. Like I said, birdies. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Hole 12, it's a long par five. How long is it, you ask? 483 yards, so it's not a very long par five. Houses are in play on the right. You got bunkers, fairway bunkers on the right hand side, and the whole thing is downsloped. Really difficult one, I would say. Yeah, it's an intimidating driver shot off the tee, that's for sure. Not for this guy though, straight as an arrow. These houses are definitely in play though, wow. Nice chip. Hole 14 is a 321 yard par four from the blacks. As you can see, there's two ways to play it. You can, there's a nice big layup landing spot in the middle. There's a massive bunker right down the middle of the hole. And then on the left, you've got a long kind of sweeping dog leg right that if you want to hit driver, you can kind of go that route or you just hit a light driver or an iron down uh, the middle. Just don't go too far because it's about 220 yards. If you go too far, you'll be in the drink. Absolutely cannot go in the water here. Splash. I have to make this putt, otherwise I'm wearing Bubba Gump all next round. And so, but you know what? I feel good about this. Stay up. Bubba Gump coming my way. Devastating. Well, it was the water that ultimately did it. 15, about uh, 170 to 180 to the stick, depending on uh, pin placement. Nice short par three. As you can see on these more recent holes now we're out of the trees into more of an open landscape a lot of the course a lot of the holes on the bear course are similar to this as well and it's just a nice diversity you got more bunkers a lot of water to worry about and uh, a little bit more breeze coming through so a lot of things to consider here It's been a tough putting day for us. When is it not though? I know, it's like the third course in a row. We just suck at putting, but hey, we're here for you, so subscribe. You like how I twisted that? Tough, bad putting day to like and subscribe. Such, such a smooth transition there. is a tough par five. It's the hole that never ended. It just never ends. It's narrow. You got bunkers coming out of your ears. What really makes this hard is the elevated green with a bunker at the front, which makes hitting it in two near impossible. We are here at hole 18. It's a 370 yard par four. Uh, you gotta definitely be mindful of the water on this hole. Yeah, it's a big dog leg left, so you gotta lay up first off, and you got a difficult second shot over a massive pond. We'll see how we do. Did you make it? Oh! You know what? I'll make you a bet big C. I got 180 ish yards to the green, elevated green over the water. If I get this on the green, you have to wear the Bubba hat. If, I, if I'm in the water, or if, if I don't get it on the green, I have to go two rounds in a row, blah, blah, hat. Deal. Deal or, deal or no deal? Deal. You've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Woo! Come I don't on, know if he's on, on the green. Yeah. <laughs> we'll celebrate too early now. So we're driving up to the green. We haven't seen it yet. Here we go. No, I'm on the fringe. Are you kidding me? I just rolled through. Look at that. That's two games in a row. 
Two games in a row. Tough, tough way to go out. But well, great round. Definitely a difficult course. Yeah. Gave us a lot of challenges, especially on that front nine. Yeah, front nine was difficult. Back nine was a nice change of scenery. Watch out for 17. Watch out for 17. Thanks for playing with us. See you next time.